I have videos up showing you how to do the factorial in your calculator, the buttons on all the TIs. Um, I've got a video on how to do it in Excel if you don't have a TI with it. Um, but what if you're just using a basic scientific calculator and you just want to use that? Um, and so you don't have the cool factorial menu. Well, I'm going to show you a shortcut, and I'm using fairly small numbers here, but this works for any of the numbers. So what I've got here is I'm going to first, this is the factorial and combinations, you know, one of the, the versions here. So I'm going to put here, and so then this is 5 minus, this is 7. Okay, so this top here, right, is 12 times 11 times 10 all the way to 1, right? And then this is 7 times 6 all the way to 1, and this is 5 times 4 all the way to 1. Well, 7 to 6 is also up here. You can cancel multiplication. So then at the top, I just have 12 times 11 times 10 times 9 times 8, because then 7 down cancels with this 7 down. And then in the bottom, I'm left with just 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So then this, if I was having to hand put this into my calculator, is much more manageable. 12 times 11 times 10 times uh, 9 times 8 divided by, let's see here, 20 times, I'm getting lazy here, 6. And there's our answer. So this would be the same as if I put it in my calculator. Um, I can see even here if I did it this way. Come over to the probability menu. Oh, I have to put in the number first. What was it? It was 12. I know I don't want that. I got too many buttons going on here. There. Oh, now I gotta quit. I gotta go back over. This is what I get for like, oh hey, I'm gonna do this, and then not thinking about it. Okay, probability button. Go down to my factorial, and you can see there's the combination permutations right there, and then divided by seven. And what was it? Five. And parenthesis. And you can see I got the, the same answer that way. Um, but that is a cool little shortcut for if you are doing this by hand for any reason. This ability to cancel out makes then this is something I can put in my calculator by hand, whereas this is. It's, it's daunting, especially if, like, instead of 12, this is, like, 69. That's when it really gets obnoxious. Even 12, and I probably put that in my calculator. But all of a sudden, I'm looking at 72, and you're like, I don't want to do that. Plus, then you're dealing with such big numbers, your calculator's likely to kind of uh, got too many digits. This is going to keep the numbers fairly small, which is going to make it easier for those basic scientifics to handle as well.